In this video, let's define the actions and reducers for our cake feature. With Redux Toolkit, the recommendation is to group together the reducer logic and actions for a single feature in a single file. The file should contain slice as a suffix. For our cake feature, within the cake folder, let's create cake slice.js. Now the slice here is a Redux toolkit convention and we are not appending it because a slice of cake seems appropriate. The entire application state is split into slices and managed individually. Please keep that in mind. Now the first thing, we are going to import a function from the Redux toolkit package. So const create slice is equal to require Redux toolkit dot create slice. Remember, we are still in a Node.js environment and we are not in a React app. We cannot use ES module imports and still have to rely on the require keyword. Once we have the function imported, we invoke the function and assign it to a constant. So const cake slice is equal to create slice. This function accepts an object as an argument. In this object, we specify three properties. First, we specify a name for this slice. Let's call it cake. Next, we specify the initial state for this individual slice. So above the cake slice, const initial state is an object where we have one property, number of cakes, set to 10. Now for create slice, specify initial state as key and value. We can use ESX shorthand and specify just initial state if the key and value both are the same. So initial state is now equal to our initial state object. Next we specify the reducer function. And this will seem quite different to what we have seen with just Redux. We begin by adding a key called reducers. This is an object. Within the object, we specify the individual state transitions. If I go back to our Redux example, in our cake reducer, we had two switch statements, one for cake ordered and one for cake restocked. Here is how we rewrite the logic with create slice. We specify ordered as a key. This is going to be a function which receives state and action as arguments. similar to the reducer function in Redux demo. Now we don't need the action as we are simply decrementing the number of cakes by one. So an arrow function with just state as a parameter. But what is great with Redux toolkit now is that one, we don't have to explicitly return the new state and two, we can directly mutate the state. So state, dot number of cakes minus minus. If you're wondering how this is possible, well, create slice under the hood uses the immer library we had seen earlier. Redux toolkit handles the state updation on your behalf. Similarly, we can define the restocked state transition as well. The key is restocked and this is equal to a function. The function receives state and action as parameters. And within the function body, we increment the number of cakes by the amount specified in the action payload value. So state dot number of cakes plus is equal to action dot payload. 
And that is pretty much it. But hang on, you might ask, what about the actions? Well, Create Slice will automatically generate action creators with the same names as the reducer functions we have written. Ordered and restocked. We don't have to type it by hand. Apart from the action creators, it also returns the main reducer function, which we can provide to our Redux store. Let's export the reducer as the default export. So module.exports is equal to cake slice dot reducer and the actions as a named export. So module dot exports dot cake actions is equal to cake slice dot actions. This slice effectively takes care of defining an action type constant, an action object, an action creator, the switch statements in the reducer, and handling immutable updates in the reducer. As you can see, we are already addressing the concerns around Redux. We have reduced the boilerplate code and we have reduced importing additional libraries explicitly. Redux Toolkit abstracts away all of that. All right, now that we have a cake slice that generates the cake reducer and cake actions, in the next video, let's connect our reducer to the Redux store and dispatch some actions.